What's a MacGyver, and why does it have a convention? MacGyver was a show about a secret agent who used inventions made of everyday objects to defeat bad guys. And he was played by the three greatest names in the history of television. Richard Dean Anderson. Did someone mention my names? Oh, <gasps> Richard Dean Anderson! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You finally came to our convention. No, I'm looking for the convention for my new show, Stargate SG-1. Oh, Matt, it's over there. Stargate SG-1! Stargate SG-1! You're into MacGyver? That show was so stupid. Oh, I'm MacGyver. I can make a bomb out of a banana peel in a toaster. That show was just a paycheck to me, and nothing more. No, <gasps> how could he say that? MacGyver is my world. Richard Dean Anderson just pissed off the wrong Richard Dean Anderson fans. Stargate! Richard Dean Anderson of the four star franchises, Wars, Trek, Gate, and Search, Gate is easily my third favorite. I get that a lot. Question SG-1. How would your character, Major General Jonathan Jack O'Neill, react to appearing at the Springfield Stargate Fan Fest? I feel like I've just gone through the Stargate to one heck of a convention. Yeah! Yeah! He's a werewolf, boss! What in the name of Steve Ditko? Hey, let go! Hey, watch the face. I need that for acting. Whoa! He's gone! There must be a Stargate in this stadium! Everybody, look for it! <laughs> wait, wait! I have some even more exciting news! There is a girl in the audience! Everybody, look for her! <laughs> this is a kilt! And I'll know a girl! You're as close as we'll ever get! Get him! Get him! <laughs> Surprise! This is kidnapping! People are gonna know I'm missing! There's a liquor store I go to every morning! This isn't a kidnapping! No! Think of it as a two-on-one MacGyver convention! That will never, never end! First, you're gonna sign a couple of autographs. What the... You can write, help me, all you want. No one will ever see it. Nah! <laughs> He's escaped! <gasps> we'll be busted for kidnapping. I can't face jail. I can. <gasps> Richard Dean Anderson, why did you come back? To tell you how I escaped. I had to get out before another one of your bristly kisses. Then I remembered the blue contacts I wear to hide my Latino heritage. All I needed was a sling strong enough to support my 200-pound frame. Abra, Kadabra. MacGyver lives, and not just at 2 a.m. on the USA Network. My real-life escape from your love dungeon was the most exciting thing I've ever done. It was? Tie me up so I can do it again. But this time, don't make it so easy. No! Oh, oh delighted. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Too much? Not for MacGyver. Next. <laughs> okay, here's the plan. You lock me in the trunk of a car and park it under the pier at low tide. All I need are these everyday objects. A nail file, a farmer's almanac, a gun with no bullets, some bullets, and three of my MacGyver riders. Sounds great. Can we do it during lunch? No! no. Welcome home! Guess who made MacGyver burgers? MacGyver? We didn't have any ground beef. Yeah, but you did have Slim Jims, a cheese grater, and rubber bands to hold it all together. We gotta get rid of this kook. I got an idea. 
Which episode are we watching tonight? L is for Lake Tahoe, part two? Bless me, MacGyver, for I have sinned? Well, we thought maybe you would like to see some of our globe-trotting adventures. <laughs> this is Selma, in line at the Larray Caverns. It turned out it was the line for the ladies' room. This is the ladies' room. This is us at the Alberta Canada Carriage Museum. That's a Phaeton, Landau, Buckboard, Post Chaise, Surrey, 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 Selma, Surrey. You're in a tight spot, MacGyver. This calls for your most ingenious escape ever. This Olive Garden coupon! It expires at midnight! You're not holding a coupon. Um... MacGyver, away! Well, he's gone. Yeah. And we'll always have what he wrote on our window shade. What did he write that in? Grape juice and tears.